So this is fairly easy. I mean, it's like airport security. We're at a check-in station and waiting to get our keys for the boat. All right, check-in. Yeah, we can put that away. Welcome aboard. Two ship, it says two ship. And we're like wicked early. Hey fam, <laughs> we're gonna give you a few do's and don'ts on stuff you can do in Bermuda, what not to do in Bermuda from a cruise ship, and hopefully you can get some enjoyment out of it and get some tips. Maybe it'll help, maybe not, but hope you enjoy. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Cape Liberty Cruise Terminal and the beautiful Celebrity Summit. So you, you can buy shit over there already. And want to inform all of our guests of our boarding process so we may proceed with a speed and efficient embarkation. All right, if that's... There it is, Satchel Liberty, right there. That's why I don't understand why they do the drive-by. I don't get why they do that. It's right there. What do you mean, they go around? They, what they started doing, and they don't do it on every cruise, uh -huh. they'll leave here, go around it, up the river, no. they'll turn around, and then come back down past it. And I don't get why. It's <laughs> right there. Yeah, it's not like they can open the casino until they're out to sea, right? Right. New York City skyline, folks. This ship is pretty long. This is just midship back. So this is our... Oh. This is our suite, or our state, or our room, or whatever you want to call it. Pretty modest. We got a couch, we got a balcony. We got a sexy mama. This doesn't have a screen. Foot. We got a couple of chairs. We got the Florida jersey. So that's the road we came in on. Circled around there, then got our bags off, and then parked over there. Pretty simple. We did get say something. Catwalk, you know, we're holding in this room, then catwalk onto the ship. And this is our ship. That's right. It's our ship. So we are moving. We're moving. I'm fucking moving. I think that's a, a teardrop to 9-11. Pretty sure that's the Verrazano Bridge.
right, here we go with some do's and don'ts. Uh, this is in no particular order. This just happened to be the order that we did it in. Uh, do visit the Crystal Caves. It's awesome view, and I'll put that video up next. Um, and the aquarium and zoo. You could do this fairly cheap. It's really light exercise. The ship might tell you you got to climb some stairs, but anybody can do this regardless. Uh, the don't on this one is don't put don't book the excursion through the ship it costs about hundred and fifty dollars per person and the crystal caves themselves are like twenty or twenty two dollars each person and you can get there by taxi either by scooter or by taxi for about twenty bucks um, so that's a huge difference in the aquariums and zoos are free so no charge there and you can do this in about four hours so don't book through the excursion don't book the excursion through the ship. It's way too costly. It's not worth it through the ship, but it is worth seeing the caves. So that's the don't on that one, but do definitely visit the caves. So here we go, guys. Waiting on our turn. Number six. <laughs> Guys, we came all the way to Bermuda to see a chicken. <laughs> There's a chicken. Can we cook it? Roast chicken tonight. Oh, well, there's oh. another one. That's a rooster. There's another one over here. There's a lot more over there. I shall call you oven fried. No? Oven roasted? You like oven roasted better? Rotisserie. That's what we're going to call you. Rotisserie chicken. He doesn't like rotisserie. Oh well. Okay, so the water is down in this lake. All right, this is ocean water. All right, salt water. It comes into the cave. All right, from the Castle Harbor through underground tunnels. All right, it will rise and fall approximately three to five feet every six hours. All right, so if you guys look over here on this wall, all right, you'll see a green line. All right, the green line is about how much you would have to rise. I believe we have about two feet, about a foot and a half left to go down. All right, so mostly salt water down here. Right, however, due to the dripping coming from the ceiling, the first inch of water will be fresh water. All right, followed by the next two feet being brackish water. Now that's a mix between the salt water and the fresh water. And the salt water will sit right at the bottom as it is heavy water. All right, and what this does, this creates a lens effect. All right, so if I get you guys just be quiet. Thank you very much. Attention. So what the layering effect does, all right, is it creates a lens effect in the water to make everything look a lot closer than it actually is. All right, so this can really be seen by these two formations in the water. All right, so what these formations are, they are stalagmites. All right, so the one on the right we call castle. All right, the castle stands at 35 feet tall in 55 feet of water. All right, whereas this one just right here is a lot smaller, standing at only 14 feet in about 22 feet of water. All right, so right here, you guys can see it slides down. These are the oldest freestanding formations we have in the cave. All right, one in front, estimated to be over 2 million years old, one behind it being around 1.8 million years old. All right. Hey guys, as you can tell, our next adventure is snorkeling on the dune. Go do it. It is fantastic. It's coral reefs. Uh, it's a once in a lifetime experience. It's great. We did ours with a guide. He was funny. He gave us room swizzles. Uh, we booked ours through the ship, and that's a don't. It is 50% cheaper to do it uh, booking on shore. And the other don't, the other big don't I want to stress is it is an ecosystem down there. 
uh, swim, enjoy it, but leave it for other people to enjoy as well. I completely uh, think that we should leave this planet better than where we came in, so I'll leave you with this story. Yeah. I, was, I was uh, saying this exact story a couple weeks ago, and I had a lady um, swim to the back of the boat with a little baby sea fan in her hand. She decided that she was going to pull it out of the reef and then bring it home with her. Yeah, yeah, she's about this big. Um, so to bring any um, live coral out of my ocean, yes, it's fine, um, is a $10,000 fine. Yeah, yeah. So we just, we just leave it right there. Okay, here, here we are, fam. Yeah, well, look at that. Look at that one. That's the anthem of the seas. That is one big freaking boat. Norwegian Dawn. And that down there. That's right. There's Bermuda. That's all Bermuda. And this camera's not, not focusing. Another thing you also want to do is, as I'm showing now, this is where the ships dock and right on the back side is uh, where the fast ferry, uh, coincidentally from Rhode Island, was booked out. Uh, the fast ferry goes to Hamilton and St. George and it's the best way to do it. You get to enjoy a little bit more ocean and it's pretty darn quick. It's a simple, simple uh, five minute walk to the ferry. Grab, grab your ferry tickets for the day or for the week or whatever it is, but um, the ferries go um, every 30 minutes, I believe, and it's pretty quick. You know, you go into Hamilton, you go into St. George, you do some shopping, and you know, like Mrs. Large did all the time, and you get to go back and forth uh, quite uh, comfortably and easily. Um, a couple of uh, honorable mentions. We didn't do this, but we we wanted to do this. Um, you know, it's just we didn't have time. We wish we had a little bit more time. Rent scooters for a do. Uh, remember, it is on the opposite side of the road. So for a don't don't ride on the right side of the road. Um, another one is rent cedars. Oh, they're awesome. Uh, but if you have a bad back, uh, don't rent sea dues uh, because it is, is, it is pretty uh, brutal on your back. And uh, we got some more. We're going to have to cut this video into two parts, unfortunately. Um, but uh, if you don't watch the second part because you think this is boring, you know, whatever. That's cool, too. But uh, enjoy Bermuda. Enjoy the this fantastic people out there on the ship on Bermuda. It was cool, and I will mention that in part two. So there's a couple of more do's and don'ts. There's a few more do's and don'ts and honorable mentions. I'll put that in do's and don'ts part two of the video. And uh, guys, remember, as always, salute to the troops. Uh, please recycle, reuse, so we can save this beautiful, beautiful planet that we have, and uh, peace and love out.